Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nightfox15, this is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and we just got King of Games for the third time in the month of September using Chronomalies. The deck is slightly different than that that we used to get Duelist level max earlier this month. The only change was I went from three MSTs to two, adding a Forbidden Lance in its place, and I took out a Breakthrough skill and added a third Fiendish Chains. I felt the stopping attack was more important than the second Negate follow-up in the grave. So as you can catch me live at Twitter, Twitch.tv slash Nightfox15. The deck breakdown can be found at the end of the video. And without further ado, it's time to do, 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 do. It's a loaded day today. It's a loaded day. For the whole duration here, I did not anticipate facing this. At all on the ladder. Period. Who in their right mind would have thought anybody is still playing Elemental Lords? Not me. And this is 30 card build, mind you. They are known to run Kanadias, Triple Kanadia, Triple Flood, and Triple Book is what you usually get from Elemental Lords. So we're going to take care of that other back row here. Uh, that that trap card he just activated prevents uh, targeting of his field spell. So we're only gonna pick off an MST, which is not a good pick for us here. This match went all the way down to uh, one second. I literally almost lost. And this was a rank down match, mind you. I'm gonna go with head, go for follow up. All right, he's gonna go swappy swappy Mercens. Maybe he was reading my Chronomaly card. Maybe he never faced a Chronomaly before. He's going to swap out his uh, bad spell negation for Malehu, which is a he red skull. And determine that he needed to flip down uh, my Chronomaly to basically stop my play. And it worked. Couldn't stop summon big heads, and I couldn't uh, use Skull's ability to search. Zilly has no problem with it. Double Malehu's trainings on the field. He gets the swap out. As many cards as he wants. Well, I think it's once per turn. So he's going to tribute off one Molehue here, not wanting double Molehue. And he's going to go with the Earth Ani, Element Saber Ani. Card from the grave. He's trying to set up an entire squishy, like an entire stoppable board to negate spells and traps. And he's not even going to swing. Huge for us here. He's going to double Elemental Saber training here. So his field spell is double protected. I believe it's not once per turn. I think, I think he can do it multiple times. Just going to Molehue me again, but he chooses not to. So he's going to give me an opportunity for Crystal Skull. We're going to go Mud Golem. Try and bait some stuff out. So special the big head. No activation. We'll go ahead and use our technology here. See what we can get. Maybe we'll get something nice. I'll go for the MST. I can't target the field spell. But I could use no bird disc in the graveyard. Let's go. The benefit of not having to summon here actually is going to help me out here because I haven't summoned yet. Right? So we're going to go double no bird disc. Milling him to the grave is huge. Huge. No flippies. So this is... I know it's a misplay in some extent because... His attack's already different than his original attack, so I could have just popped him here. I could have popped him, but I didn't. So I'm like, all right, well, we'll just pop him now. All right, so it's irrelevant. So now at least I don't have to deal with him. We'll go ahead and get rid of our big head. Oh, I can swing into the mullet hue, force a flip. But I'm going to get rid of him to force the flip early. The other two guys aren't really a threat right now. Training is actually going to be tra uh, triggered here. On, don't sure, not sure why. We're just uh, hoping that I can negate training, but I can't. It won't let me. I was hoping I MST it before he can summon something, but it didn't work out. All right, we still have a normal summon. We'll go Mud Golem. Feels like a waste, but... Definitely uh, thinking double... Hayuk here. So here's misplay number two. 
I forgot that I had to tribute one of my monsters to pull this off. I'm just going to pop the guy with 2700 defense because I can't swing over him. Again, trying to chain MST, but it won't let me. So when he has two elemental trainings on the field, I think they, they lock each other completely and then I can't. Yeah, see, I can't. And then they also protect the field spell saying you can't target me, yada, yada, yada. So we're going to go for game, or go for game, go for swing here. Yep, get flipping. Let it pass. Her effect's going to activate here. Milling another of his monsters. Now I can target stuff. Oh, no. It's because I activated Chronomaly uh, Aztec, which... Or something. I think, yeah, Chrono. So when I activated Nobody Disc from the Grave, it locks me out of activating any other uh, cards except for Chronomaly cards. So I actually could pick each other off, so I was mistaken on saying they locked each other out. So just be advised. Misspoke. Here we go. Damage step. So I misspoke when I said they protect each other. They're not protecting each other. It's because I activated my spell card, which prevents me from activating any other cards except for Chronomaly cards. We're going to pick off that back right here. Don't want to deal with it. It's a super team buddy force. That sucks for us. It's just going to replace itself. Milling his deck even more down to 13 cards. So depending on how this plays out is going to be huge. I'm going to say no, so I can get another Nobre from the grave. Nobre summon Nobre. I'm zero hourglass delays. Zero. But I'm also out of Hayuks. So we're going to be going big boy. See, down to 20 seconds here. A lot of thinking being done. I had to work fast. Rapido, rapido. All right, we're going to grab Ford Focus. Change him to attack. Activate Skull. Probably shouldn't do that when I'm low on time. Did it anyway. Grab for follow-up. KC wipes my whole board. Six seconds to go. We're swinging. Damage step. We're activating. Two. One. Just in time! Just in time! Alrighty, alrighty. It is, in fact, Amazonas Princess. Get summoning, get adding. That's Onslaught. Unlimited, but not yet. Uh, the list doesn't go into effect yet, so it's not unlimited. It's just, it's still limit two. Triple set. Not good, not good. No MST's been ripped. That's a fiendish chain. That's nice, I guess. This hand's really good. If you didn't have so much back row, I I need a third big hit, which I could get right now, and that would be an OTK. But triple set, so we're not doing that. Bones would have been how we OTK this. If we had opened Bones, and then yeah, and then no bird disc with big head, then that's OTK. Right? I don't know. It would be Bones, the spell card, whatever, it doesn't matter. I could grab it for follow-up, and I will. We're going to mill the Mud Golem, unfortunately, here. So his trap is uh, something that we're going to have to deal with. So swinging into this, he'll just banish whatever I swing with. Zilly needs to get working. Thank you, Zilly, for stopping by. Appreciate you. Kanadi is going to say, stop. No, what are you doing? Face down. Feel for Fox needed to unlock the fourth dude on fourth four games that's going to suck uh, that you earn inside of Arc V. So Onslaught, going to get activated here. Kanadia going to get summoned. All right. Yeah. I do. Actually, I don't need to do it four times. Uh, whoa, Witch Raider, not something you see, but I guess when you run so much back row, uh, it's a benefit. But here he's going to use the Kanadia and the Drowning, hoping to kill all my back row. But it doesn't work like that because Kanadia is not considered a trap card when it's on the field. It's considered a monster who's also a trap. But when you use it for Witch Raider, 
it doesn't get its special ability to pop all back row. He's unfortunately not going to get what he wanted out of it, which is to, you know, basically blow up my back row. So we're going to stop the Amazonist here because I honestly don't care. I can deal with the Witch Raider. He's dumb. Doesn't remember the defense on Atlantis. Okay. He doesn't take damage, though, I guess. That's why... I don't, I don't get it. Wait, I just realized he's running Mass Change in Amazons. What? He's running Hero Amazons? That's another Mass Change. That's directly to the face. If he uses it, he is. This was going to be game if I didn't fiendish that stupid Amazonian. Amazonian. Because he would have hit my... He would have hit Atlantis and then been free reign. Easy peasy. No need to use our skill here because I don't want to use up all my Hayukes. So we're just going to go no... Because we ripped another no bird disc. Normally I would have normal summon no bird disc, grab skull, thin the deck, get big head. But I'm just okay with this. This is perfectly fine. I think I can calculate... 26 plus 18 is game? Right? No, it's 800, so not game. Not worth swinging. I think if I remember what their effects do. I have 1,600 life points. This would have been huge if I was any lower. He would be winning right now. Switches are to defense. Thankfully, my guy's in attack position, or this would have been 15 to the face to a 3k booty I take, not he takes. If I activated my Hayuk, he would have won. Uh, I'm going to get banished. Not a big deal. We get another Fiend, so that's good. Yeah. No Bray. We'll search. Skull in the deck. So this is what I would have done last turn, but we're doing it this turn. Because we didn't need to do it last turn. Uh, in case he keeps him in defense, I'm going to grab my Mud Golem here. I can't summon Mud Golem this turn, but in case somehow he stops this, which I don't think he can, or he just plays a defense monster, I should have game over this next turn. That's uh, sadly going to be a Hayuk that's banished. Not a big deal. That is going to be game. A lot of us will be running back or removal due to pendulums. True. G pilot with the knowledge dropping it. This guy's connection is terrible. So we already have skull in hand, so we're just going to search out the technology. Pretty straightforward combo here. Yeah, definitely big hit. I'm thinking this is um, Gaia. So sadly, activating technologies here. Takes me out of an. I think I'm gonna grab the No Break Disc for the follow up because my other two cards are MST and Book. So we have Protection, we have Disruption. Else, right? So normally in a Gaia matchup, you wanna make the Ford Focus. I searched out the Chronomaly Gateway. So I'm just gonna just take easy 2,000 life points away from him. Straight, st standard opener here when you don't really. Like, either where you don't know, or you do know, but it's not going to really save you if you go one way or another. This will also allow no bird Disc to be in the graveyard for follow-up if I need him. I summon no bird Disc and then the other no bird Disc from the grave without having to use no bird Disc search effect. Nope. It is not. It is a 20-card magnet deck. Magnetic Field sucks. This card is once per turn here, so I'm going to try and use it when he activates it. So if you do this now, he can some activate another one from his hand, and he'll resummon the beta. You want to do it when he's activating the trigger effect. The card has to be face up on the field. Because it's not face up on the field, it cannot pull the Magnet Warrior from the grave. And the effect was used. Ooh, one back row set, though. So that is a live back row. It is something. Thin it. Thin it. Maori. What is your back row? So 
So the alternative play there was to just use the Nobra from the grave and not search the skull, not search the Maui. But this helps me thin my deck out, so I'm down to nine cards, which is huge. He's going to scoop it. I either lose or brick, like draw really badly. So this is an example of, I wouldn't say necessarily a full brick, because it's not like three Mauis and an F Lance. I don't have a full play turn one. I have to wait till turn three to do something. Did he brick eyes or did he full on blue eyes? Bunch of traps. That's a stone. I know exactly what's coming. And every time I tell myself, I need to test this. I don't know for a fact if I can flip stone down and prevent Sage with Eyes of Blue of actually getting his effect off. I think I've done it before and I think it didn't work. So every single time I see it, I'm hesitant. In an, on initial there, I could have just flipped stone and then he wouldn't have had a valid target. We wouldn't be going through all this. But right now I also had a Fiendish Chains. So I was pretty confident doing this. Or I am pretty confident doing this, depending on how you want to look at it. No back row to deal with. So I need a good Chronomaly top deck here because we're about to face a Blue Eyes and a Spirit. That's not an ideal top deck, but it works. Right? So I can work with this. So he does have a Blue Eyes in his hand. Get thinning. So here's my normal summon in additional thin. And now I have a Chronomaly in the graveyard that I can utilize if I just top deck a Chronomaly card. We take those! Rank up, baby! When you gain a rank, current win streak of four. Two set, triple set. Okay, this hand's really good for us, except I have no back row removal, so I'm gonna need something. That is not a back row removal. Uh, we're just gonna go. All right, there's a delay. So as long as we don't get like Kanadia or Floodgate, we actually have plays here. Cause we don't have to worry about a hate grenade, right? We need our soundtrack. It's gonna be tough. Rank up soundtrack requested by G Pilot. Swag Knighty says Buster. It is in fact probably Buster. Obvious DNA surgery is a dead giveaway. We're all dragons. It's not really going to affect us. I'm seeing no other delays, so there's definitely not a quick play in his hand that has a Buster in his hand. So this is looking like an easy cheek clap to me right now. This is game. No delays. The only time this is not game is if this is a drowning set. Because of the fear of drowning, I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the no break disc here, so I don't get a full board wipe. We'll be sitting on a uh, big head, so then we don't lose lose. But if it's Buster, he does piercing battle damage, and he can't attack directly. But it's whatever, and it's nothing, <laughs> nothing, nothing. Easiest. Game five ever, ever. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the king of games for the third time, almost said fourth time, third time in the month of September with Chronomalies. That was probably a set poly or a set Whatever that is, the foot. All part. right, Chronomalies, King of Games, third one in the month of September. Deck breakdown as follows. Moai at three, Crystal Bones at two, Crystal Skull at three, No Braid Disc at three, Mud Golem at one, Technology at one, MST at two, Book of Moon at one, Forbidden Lance at one, Triple Fiendish Chain, the extra deck was... Chronomaly Atlantis, number six, Chronomaly Atlantis at two, number 25, Ford Focus at two, number 36, Chronomaly Chateau Hayuk at three. The skill, of course, was gateway to another dimension. I was this close. Switching to family gift build, but I decided to stick it out with this one. And that was the uh, third COG for September.
popcorn on my leaves. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the third King of Games for the month of September with Chronomalies, my new favorite deck to play from the mini box. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. And deuces.